this boat has a long and interesting story. It starts with the Second World War that not only needed warships, but it needed the ships that would take care of the warships. Oh, it, was, it was a good looking, a little cranky sometimes in the seaway, but it was a good seagoing tug as such, and, and uh, it was a very pretty tug. was built in New York in 1944 for the U.S. Army, and uh, after the war she came to the West Coast and she ran from Panama to the Aleutian Islands, up and down, and, and uh, put in her time, and about eight years ago she retired out here. a lot of flavor. The Department of Ecology uh, deemed the boat a hazard to the bay. Rid of the boat. Well, they finally came in with the claw and they're beginning to take her apart. Uh, wasn't really doing this bay any harm. People in the community kept telling me that we needed to just leave her where she was and let her do what she was doing, which was being a habitat in this bay and a focal point for a lot of photographers. About 90% of the people who lived here, I think, were all for saving it and letting it lie and that, I would just say, die a natural death. The community wasn't divided at all. The community wanted to see her stay in the bay. It was nostalgic in more ways. Not only for myself or fellows that used to work on the sea, but people would go by here. Right? We live here. People go by here every darn day taking pictures. And of course, lost a lot today. Into the seer goal. My wife, even who's not nautical, but she's even in halfway in tears about seeing it. And, uh, just a waste of money.